What's up, guys? I'm Max. I'm Connor. I'm HG, and we're the Chick fil A Colonels. Um, so, first question is how many people here like Chick fil A? Just raise your hand. Yeah, everybody loves Chick fil A, and there's like none around here. So, how far would you have to be willing to drive to Chick fil A? Raise your hand if it'd just be 10 minutes, if you drive 45 minutes to Chick fil A. Would you drive 30 minutes to Chick fil A? Nobody? How about 20 minutes? And then 10 minutes. So what if I told you that at every Oldham County Public School uh, sporting event that you could have Chick-fil-A and there would be a new location just in LaGrange for everybody to enjoy? Before we constructed our business plan, we first came together to discuss our strengths so we could work effectively. We established group roles such as team leader, who was Max, uh, task manager, who was Adri, and group editor, who was myself. Furthermore, we established strategies to combat potential workflow problems. So we made this brief diagram to explain to you guys how a profit stream is gonna work. So basically the county is gonna subject out a plot of land to an independent food provider who is then gonna get in contact with Chick-fil-A Chick -fil the franchise. And then out of the profit that the Chick-fil-A makes at this designated location, 65% um, of the revenue is going to go directly back to the Chick-fil-A franchise and then 35% is going to go to the independent food provider who got in contact with the Chick-fil-A to put the business there. And then all excess tax revenue is going back to the Chamber of Commerce, aka the county, so it's giving back to the county. And also at every sporting event, there's going to be a discounted Chick-fil-A sandwich to everybody who attends the event. So it's gonna bring more people to games and it's also gonna generate revenue for the county and for the Chick-fil-A franchise. So our work breakdown structure consisted of three parts, which were determining the availability, getting a survey, and then the construction. So we determined the availability, we narrowed it down, which we will be seeing in further spots for so lots. And then we looked at the population density in those areas to see which would get the most reaction from people. And then we looked at the competitors, the potential competitors that would be around there. So then we create, then we would create a survey and distribute that, and use that as data to show to the county once we get an interest from everybody. And then we looked at the construction cost of it, and then we would do that to get the contract and then make a plan to show it to the county. We determined that the success of the Chick Fil A relies heavily on the location of the store. We found three potential locations for our Chick-fil-A. One in Buckner, Buckner near OCHS, one in LaGrange next to Kroger, and one on Commerce Parkway. We compared these locations using multiple, multiple factors in a decision matrix that you can see on the screen here. These factors are cost of the land, approximate effect on revenue, distance slash accessibility, and amount of traffic congestion it will create. After collecting, compiling, and comparing data, we determined that the LaGrange location is most optimal. Here you can see a screenshot of the listing on the Oldham County Chamber of Commerce's website of the plot of land that we plan to build on with all of the relevant, relevant, relevant information. So um, the main aspects of, of our proposal is our target, target audience who is basically anybody who eats fast food. And then our competitors are obviously McDonald's, Dairy Queen, Wendy's, uh, any fast, any main fast food chain. And then the expenses are uh, costs of land, franchise fee, and then operating expenses, aka paying, paying, um, paying employees. In conclusion, our vacant lot proposal will benefit the community by bringing beloved, by bringing a beloved franchise to all the generating taxes and enriching Oldham County School sports and games through discounts. Any questions? Yes, Mike. So actually, I have a work in the Chick-fil-A, and so I was wondering how you guys would manage the outdoor line, and because I know at my location we have a rather large lot so that we have space to wrap our lines around the building and get everybody through. Um, how would you guys, do you think your lot, which you showed, would be big enough to create a, a line management yeah, we, we did the measurements. Uh, it, it follows all the standards to fit a Chick-fil-A. It's well big enough to lock the lock. Do the, you, no problem. Do you think that the demand in the frame would be pretty high 
houses I know in New York, it's pretty much comparative. It's not that far of a drive, but I feel like some people would rather drive to the West Coast Road one. Well, um, as you can see, we actually did part of our survey right here in the classroom, and I mean, the vast majority of people uh, just in this location, uh, just, you know, in this classroom, uh, said that they enjoy Chick-fil-A, and, um, you know, if one is closer, you know, in LaGrange, um, here we have a very large, uh, you know, Buckner and LaGrange population, and so, you know, uh, they're always going to take the more, the more convenient option. I mean, it's only, the, the location is only eight minutes away from where we are right now, so that's just automatically going to be closer and more convenient for everybody in the room. Yeah. How are you guys going to account for, since there are other fat, like food businesses that will be close by, if you guys come there, will you potentially be taking business for them, and do you have any way you're going to compensate them if, like, some of them might have to close their doors because people are coming to chip for us and not their restaurant? Well, that's just kind of the hard, the hard aspects of business. If we, if, we, if, we send them, if we send them out of business, then, you know, I'm sorry, but we'll make them bread. <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah, yes, Josh. Josh, Josh. Josh. So you all the parking for the schools the Yes. Yes, that, that, will be, that will be a provision in the contract uh, between the county, who is going to be uh, the, the main uh, financial com uh, part of the franchise. That will be a provision in the contract with the independent food provider. Mr. Morgan, can I ask one more question? So you said you have discounted prices of sandwiches at football games and sporting events, correct? Yeah. Yes. Um, so the average price of the Chick fil A sandwich is around $4.15. If you discounted that price, you also mentioned how the county and Chick fil A would make a profit by having discounted sandwiches at games. How does that affect your The Chick fil A is not buying the land, the Chamber of Commerce is. So the, 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 they're playing with house money. So well, everything they make is profit. Well, you still have to get the ingredients for the sandwiches, and the sandwiches still have a base price. Well, uh, because... We're gonna, no, we're going to sign off. Okay. Guys, give them a hand.